What's going on everybody? Crypto Gamer here. Back again to do a tutorial for how to navigate Bitrex like I said in my last video when I was doing it on Poloniex. Now this video is not going to be very long. I pretty much covered most of the basics that you guys needed to know about sending and retrieving your coins on your different wallets and exchanges. So all I'm really going to do in this video is just talk about how to navigate Bitrex and get your wallet addresses and so on and so forth. If you guys need to know more in depth as far as sending and receiving from, let's say, Coinbase and the like, you can actually go on my page, Crypto Gamer, subscribe if you would, and just go on to my Poloniex tutorial, which I covered most of my other information as far as Coinbase is concerned. But let's get to it. So, you know, you cover the basics, you just make a Big Tricks account. Then from there, once you want to get your wallets, once you're inside, you actually go to wallets right here in the top right corner, click on it, just give it a second to load up, and once you click on it, you're going to get your balances, Like I, just like in my Poloniex video, this is an account I made just for the sake of my tutorial video, but right here is going to show you under your account balances the different types of coins and more than likely if you're sending anything to Bittrex it's going to be Bitcoin or Ethereum so that you can you know actually exchange for the other alternative coins that they have available on their platform so just like in um, Poloniex they actually have buttons next to the coin that you're selecting just like with Poloniex it had um, deposit and withdraw it's the same thing here except it has a plus and a minus sign. The plus sign will be your deposit and once you click on that it's going to ask you to generate a new address. Now once you generate this new address you have to wait for it for a little bit and after the wait it's going to generate your permanent Bitcoin wallet address for this particular wallet. Uh, little, I don't know right there. Just give it a second. It always takes a little moment when it's generating a new address. I tend to help people out with this a lot. But yeah, if you guys aren't too busy while you're waiting for your new address, you can actually head over to my page and subscribe. All I do is plan on bringing value to all of you viewers and, you know, to see if I can help everybody who's watching this make a little extra cash on the side, if not replace their income. Now, it, now that it's generated the address, just like in the other video like I showed you guys you can actually just go to coinbase go to send or request man it's taking really long today Bit Bitcoin is is leveling out after running up the other day and ethereum hit all-time highs of four hundred and ten dollars I think today that was the max but yeah, now that you've gotten to send slash request, you're just going to paste the address from your Bitcoin wallet on Bittrex into your Coinbase um, send form. And then from there, you just nominate the amount of BTC or USD you plan on sending to your Bitcoin wallet. And always make sure that you've actually chosen your Bitcoin wallet, not your Ethereum wallet or your Litecoin wallet. Just like in the other video, I'm going to say this again, just to emphasize this. You guys have to make sure you're sending your digital currencies to the proper wallets. You cannot send a Bitcoin to a Litecoin wallet or a Dogecoin wallet or vice versa. You cannot send Ethereum to your Bitcoin wallet. You will lose your coins. You are at, you are at high risk for losing your value. So please pay heed, double check your addresses before you send, and carry on. But now, now that you've entered in the address, all you would do is press send funds. It's going to do its calculations with the network fee and all of these things. And then it's going to send the funds towards the wallet whose address you just entered. Now, just like I was stating on my previous tutorial on Poloniex, it would is going to be passing through the blockchain. So these confirmations may take 15 to 30 minutes before they actually show up as a balance inside of your account. And the withdrawal is about the same thing. You would just go get your address from any of your other wallets. You can actually go back to the Poloniex video, like I was stating, and you can see how you can get your Bitcoin wallet address or your ethereum wallet address from there or you can even 
use this in um, Poloniex in my other video how you get um, I'm sorry withdraw and you get your address it, it's the same platform it's the same process it's just worded differently you know but yeah you actually just would enter your coinbase address right here and then you enter the amount that you would like to send whether it's I don't know 45 450 BTC man I Man, I I wish I had 450 BTC, <laughs> but yeah, 450 BTC, whatever it may be, and it's gonna calculate it right here with withdrawal and tax and tax fees, and then it's gonna initiate the process, and then you just have to wait, you know, about 15, 30 minutes once again, and then you can move forward. Now, as far as navigating on Bitrex and making buys. You actually can do this. You can go to markets. I really like this about Bitrex. It they really sim simplify the process of finding the coin that you want. You can actually just come up here and let's say I want to look for digital note. You can either type in digital note or you can even just type in the abbreviation for the coin that you may be looking at. Like for instance, Golem coin is abbreviation is GNT. So let's say I wanted to buy some Golem coin on Bitrex. You would click on the coin, the abbreviation, whatever it may be. Just give it some time to load. Sorry about that. I don't know. Things are kind of slow today. But yeah, once you get to this page, it's actually going to give you, wow, low battery. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> uh, always keep your, your laptop charged. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, back in the game. Now, once you get to the coin that you want to choose and start making purchases, you can scroll down to trading and it's going to be really simple and straightforward. You can buy Golem coin or you can sell your Golem coin. Now, let's say you have a certain amount of BTC available in your account as purchasing that has purchasing power to exchange for these Golem coins. You can actually right here where it says units to the left you can click on max and it's going to give you the max amount of golem coins that your available purchasing balance can attain right here when you go to a price you can actually press last and it'll give you the last price that golem coin was at so this is actually one of the things i like about bitrex over poloniex the max button is right there and then the price, it automatically adjusts to the last price. So, you know, if the price is constantly shifting or it's in a volatile nature right now, you know how it can be price moving, it can be erratic sometimes. You guys can just press last and it'll automatically correct your units. Press max is going to show up right here, your total in BTC. Once you confirm buy, it's going to tell you what the quantity is is going to go over everything once again with you the subtotal then the actual little fee that you pay when you purchase these coins the total you press confirm and then it's going to fill your orders now it's let's say for instance it goes to a price that you actually wanted or preferred over the price that you're right now buying at and your order hasn't filled yet you can go up here to orders And once you're in orders, if it hasn't filled yet, it's going to still pop up right here and you can actually still cancel that transaction. Now, sometimes your orders may fill halfway. So if you see a little bit less over here than previously stated, then you may have had your order halfway filled and you may just have that remaining balance of the order to be filled still. But you can still cancel that that remaining balance and reinvest it at the price that you saw that you wanted instead of the previous one now for um security purposes i always recommend people who start up these exchanges and wallets to actually come here to settings and set up your two-factor authentication it is absolutely necessary that you set up your two-factor authentication because there are lots of cases of hackers hacking into people's accounts and so on and so forth. And I, I strongly implore all of you to set up your two-factor authentications on all of your exchanges. Coinbase, Poloniex, Bit. 
your Bittrex and whatever else you may have that gives you the option to actually set up your two-factor authentication. Now, I'm showing you guys this because this is a temporary account I made for this tutorial's purpose, so I don't really care about this code, so, you know, it doesn't mean anything to me. But, yeah, that's about it for the Bittrex um, platform. I don't really have anything else to talk about with this platform. As you can see, Bittrex, it's just, it's just different. It's a different interface, different UI than Poloniex and other cryptocurrency exchanges you guys might know about or use. But at the end of the day, it's still the same stuff, same information. Things may be a little bit different to navigate, but, you know, as long as you kind of, you know, just put two and two together and use my steps and hints inside of this video, you guys will be on your way to mastering this platform. Well, that's about it for today on Bittrex and my tutorial. If you guys want to, just like I stated in my last video, you guys can come over to BTC Clicks and earn Bitcoin for surfing ads. Remember, you're earning BTC, Satoshi's, not USD, so as your earnings go up, and you start stacking things up and Bitcoin scales like you're 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 going to be making some pretty decent some decent change. It may not seem like a lot right now, but you guys remember, like I always say, you have to maintain a long term perspective with a lot of these investments. You have to, especially if you want to put things into altcoins. This is a good way to start stacking up BTC to put into altcoins. You can go in over here, your referral affiliates tools, and get your referral link, and you can give it to your friends. They can start earning, too, and you can start seeing profits from that as well. Get a premium membership, so on and so forth. I'm going to have my referral link for my BTC clicks in the description of this video. If you guys have any questions about anything I've covered today, you guys can also message me inside the comments below and I'll get back to you guys within a timely fashion. Also just a quick reminder, come on to my Twitter. I like to retweet relevant stuff to coins I'm following, what the developers have going on, just different investments and so on and so forth, the future of blockchain, all these different things I may be talking about so that you guys can probably get wind of before I even drop a video. But yeah, that's about it. It's Fatmatic underscore. You guys see the logo. You guys can also come on Crypto Gamer, subscribe to me, and we can continue on, you know, making money together. You can see me through this journey. Remember what I said, my goal with cryptocurrency is just trading in general is to get to this laptop lifestyle and achieve this lifestyle so I, I can start, you know, being a couch potato again, no life in games again. I mean, not literally not have a life, but, you know, you know like, I feel like at, at our core, who we are when we're kids, you know, who we are growing up. I feel like that's who we are in reality, you know, just life and reality forces us all to, you know, grow up. And, you know, we have to leave behind the things that we really, you know, love to do, you know, to actual make ends meet. So, you know, I want to, you know, I want to get back in touch with that side of myself. You know, I still play games, of course, but, you know, I right now it's it's all about focusing on the dollar. So, you know, that's the goal behind, you know, Crypto Gamer. Like, I'd really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey. Once again, just subscribe right there and let's, let's move forward together. All right. That's Crypto Gamer here, Rakati, Fagmatic. Peace. See you guys on the next video. I'll be probably talking about an ICO and some coins that I'm interested in. All right. Shalom. Bless.